So I was trying to compile something from source and I was having these errors. Uh, usually when you have these errors it's because you're missing some files. The problem is you don't know what the hell you're missing. You know that's the, the bad thing of it. So we're going to use this program to find out or maybe narrow it down what we need to install uh, to complete our you know uh, compiling. So uh, what you need to install is what's it called? apt file, right? Use your package manager and install apt file, and type in your password, or whatever. Uh, the first thing they'll tell you to do is to update um, sudo apt file update, and what this will do is sync it with your, you know, your repository list, and it's gonna create a database uh, and, and so you can use that database to locate our missing files. If you ever use the um, locate command it's kinda the same thing but this one is for a different purpose right anyways that's what you have to do install it and then do the update okay and uh, we'll use that in a minute but let me find my folder here so let's downloads so this was the file that I was trying to compile and um, open the terminal here. Alright, so this was the file. And let me show you the error here. So what I did was I did a Q make and then I did a make. And you see that when I was doing the make I have these errors or this is the the error message here. Um so if you encounter something like this what you're trying to look for is the line where it says error or maybe fail or something like that uh, you know something like that and, and then um, you know see what file that you're missing so in here sometimes it'll look something like this very similar to this okay it'll, say, it'll be like a file name dot o dot h dot I don't know whatever the hell it is like another example, maybe right here, right? Um, was it file name dot cxx or whatever the hell it is? Um, sometimes it's a single uh, name. There's no dot anything like this uh, right here, here, like Q timer. Uh, other times it's with a directory also. So I'll show you that in a few minutes. But in our example here, let's say uh, for example we don't know what the hell. Um, we're missing and what we're going to do is just search for it okay so at file search um, for the missing files that we need so you see here uh, let's say we, for example we search for this let's see if something shows up right nothing okay so we're going to go to the next thing I'm not even sure if this is the same line but okay we'll see let's say for example this thing nothing right um, the next one it works because I already know what the hell I'm doing but um, this thing is what we're missing uh, right here so if I do a search uh, Q timer here it will give me uh, four results and uh, it's only two packages though because this one is the same as the one there and this one's the doc so when when you try to look for um, a package when you're compiling, it's usually a DEV file, okay. And in here we see that um, the first one is what we need because it says Q timer here, not Q timer event or whatever, but it comes with it because it's the same package. And we know it's not the doc uh, or not a document here because this one is in that GZ here right so I know it's this one and if I install this package right here then uh, I'll be complete I'll, I'll go I'll continue with my step but let me give you some other examples okay uh, so I give you like a few examples with this one this one and, and this one already but sometimes they give you like a directory also so let me uh, clear this here uh, for example I go search and sometimes it'll be like a directory like gtk slash and then the file name uh, that is missing uh, dot h or something like that 
Yeah, it will look something like this. And you can use that to search, okay, with the directory in there. If that's what it says in your uh, error output, okay. So you see this one, it gives me, um, you know, the path and the, and the name. You see here. So that's another example of how you can search. Uh, other ones, let me see here. Uh, sometimes we'll just come out with one result. So let me give you an example of that. Dot H or something here. Right, it gives you one result. When you get something like this, that's a miracle. Okay, I don't think uh, you know it'll happen all the time, but if it gives you one of the results, then you know what you need to install is just this thing. Uh, but if you go into something like um, like this, you'll see that they give you a lot of results. Right? I mean, look at this. All this thing. You have to, you know, determine which one you need to install. Another way to narrow it down, since we know we're looking for like dev files, DEV files, what we're going to do is just grep it to just look for devs uh, or, or it has devs in the, in the line. And you see it narrows it down a little bit. So that's the way to help you determine which package you need to install. Right? Uh, so that's some of the examples, but let me just go back to what we were doing. So we did a make and we had these. Well, let me clear it first. So we did a make and um, we had these errors. So what we had to do was um, search and we did a queue timer. Okay. This is how I solved it, my problem. And then after that, we know that we needed this file, okay. And what we do is just sudo apt-get install uh, q this thing was that libqt4-dev here, and just install that sucker. So we'll wait in a bit here. And there you go. It's done, right? Now let me clear it here. But this time we do the make. Oh, let us continue because uh, we just installed the package. Right? There's no error. It's, it keeps going right now. Uh, so that's how I solved it. my problem with um, you know those stupid error message. And uh, if you ever run into like missing files, just use uh, app file as in your repositories, I believe. Anyways, that's it for this one, and continue on with you know your compiling, uh, using make install and or maybe sudo check install whatever. That's it for this one.